Hi folks, I've been keeping an eye out for a Cornish hedge that I could show you inside. And I found one. Unfortunately, it's right next to the A30. So it might prove to be too noisy to film here. Uh, what I want to do is show you how it's made and having a cut through like this is an ideal way of seeing what's inside the hedge. Um, it's probably this has happened because I think the gateway that I'm standing in has been widened, the gate post has been taken out, but it gives you a little glimpse inside. So, if we have a little look at the hedge, what we can see is that uh, a, a few sort of words about the size. This hedge is about five foot high and for a good Cornish hedge construction, what you ideally want is, if you look at the bottom, the same width as the height. So this is five foot high, five foot wide at the bottom. The sides of the hedge slope in, and this is known as the batter of the hedge. And it slopes in so that at the top, it's about half the width at the base. So it goes from five foot to about two and a half foot at the top. A good Cornish hedge, in, in most cases, it does, this, this does vary, but um, for maximum strength, and we'll talk about this a little bit more in a minute, for maximum strength, you ideally want a concave batter. So if you have an opportunity to see a, a hedge that you can see a little bit more of, we could have cleared some of this vegetation off, but if you have a good, uh, clear, View, you should be able to see a concave face. The stones at the bottom are known as grounders and so you use the largest stones at the bottom and then progressively the stones become smaller and if they're in rows those rows are known as courses. The material that fills a hedge you don't want it to be too um, uh, have too much organic material in or otherwise it will rot down and collapse so what you want is good sort of subsoil rab which is denatured granite is a is an excellent uh, material and then you ram this in very carefully and the rows of stones it's very important how you place your stones you actually want to have quite a small face on the outside and then a narrow uh, the majority of the hedge, uh, the majority of the stone into the hedge. Um, I think I might um, come back and film when it's a little bit um, uh, less in shade. I think if we had sunlight on it might be a little bit easier to see. Perhaps if we come early in the morning, what a good idea, then there'll be less traffic around. Good thinking Nick. Okay, I might come back and try and film another time. Okay, that would be good, wouldn't it? Uh, oh, I've just noticed the gate post over there. That's what's happened, the gate has been widened. I will talk to you in the morning.